up, bro? I know we're running a little bit late. Um, you know, uh, do you hear what happened with Hank the Drunk the other night? No. no. Uh, Hank the Drunk went out to San Francisco to go to help host John, help John host a listening a viewing party. Yeah. And um, you know Doug, who works at A, Doug sort of handling him a little bit, mm. and so he flew out there with him. He threw up on the plane six times. Oh. Hank threw up on the plane six yeah. times. He's here right now. If you Hank's want. They don't here. Throw yeah. you off the plane. I was surprised they didn't stop in Iowa. All right, quickly plane. bring him in and just throw a microphone. What's he doing here so late? I don't know. Uh, I see. Up. He just showed up. Uh, all right, let him come in real quick. I think, Drugs like, don't keep to a very early schedule, Howard. I think that Doug sort of works with him, like helps book him. Mm. And I think Doug like keeps him at his house and stuff. Really? Because yeah, he spent the Doug night... Doug puts up Hank the Dwarf? Well, he did once before. When Doug came into the makeover, he spent the night at Doug's house. Fascinating. And then the next night, Doug stuck him at a hotel. But Doug, like if you put him somewhere and you don't keep an eye on him, it's right. not where you left him. Uh, I bet you Doug's in love with uh, yeah. Hank. You think there's a thing going on between Hank and Doug? How could a dwarf have enough puke for six? Oh. Hi, Robin. Hi. All the way around. All the way around. Hi, what's up? <laughs> Hank, what happened? Uh, you got so drunk you threw up six times on the plane? Yeah. Yeah, I usually don't, you know, I never get air sick. I've flown plenty of times. Yeah. Can you I, puke for us now? Come on. No, I can't do oh, that. <laughs> you want to see it, man. And what do you do? Do you sleep at Doug's house sometimes? I did uh, the f- first night I came out here, and then we flew out to... Uh, well, no kidding. Flew from Phil- to New York to Philly, and then to all the way out to San Francisco. I guess Doug doesn't care because you're a celebrity now. Like, and yeah, Doug's you can a- keep famous people at your house. Doug, what's your story, man? You put Hank up at your house? Yeah, yeah, sometimes when I have to. I had a desperate situation since I do it. Right. What happened when you... You never told me you put him up at your house. It's the second time, yeah. You live by yeah. yourself? No, I have two roommates. Oh, you do? Oh, they're thrilled with me. They yeah. <laughs> and you I just mean, sl- where does Hank sleep? <laughs> yeah. He sleeps on a uh, corner of a couch that's about this big. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can put him on one of those dog beds. <laughs> <laughs> He's so you small. Him, you, know, you can put him anywhere and he sleeps. Right. And you matter. just... And like you put him up at the house and he hangs out and stuff. Does he eat dinner there with you and everything? <laughs> no. Nah, I, just, I, I really him, eat. I need right. to feed him one chicken finger and he's full for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do? He's like a pet. <laughs> and and he, does he drink the whole time? Does he have to keep going yeah. out and getting liquor? My roommate found him at the refrigerator drinking vodka. Uh, at six in the morning. <laughs> and you, you've been drinking all this morning, right? No, actually, I slept. Almost. We just got back about what, about an hour ago. Yeah, about an hour. York. Yeah, but you starting off with? Oh, this is your first drink of the morning. Yeah. Yeah. So, what have you had so far? Like a half a Gatorade bottle full of vodka? No, this was. Uh, I drank some of this like in the taxi cab here. Uh-huh. Right. And, uh, but it was full when you started this morning. Almost. Yeah. All right, good for you. All right, he's already had he's already had more alcohol than I've assu- than I've have consumed all year. Month, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a year. Yeah. <laughs> and what happened? You puked on the plane, man. Was it? Were they freaking out on the plane? It was. It was I, the worst thing. It was a commuter flight, twenty minute flight. It was a twenty minute flight from New York to Philadelphia. <laughs> this is where Six he got times sick. Times he puked. Yeah. I was all right uh, from Philly to San Francisco. In fact, I was even drinking beer, and I even ate. Wow. But in the commuter plane, I mean, what did you, did everybody know he was sick? Was he throwing Uh, up in a little bag? I I think everyone was doing what I was doing. Probably only the the stewardess. Did the whole place stink? Uh, He just stinks, period. (laughs) Yeah, he smells anyway. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, and you know what sucks the worst is that I don't have it on tape. Right. Because we sat down, the camera was above. Yeah, well, who would know? I know, and all of a sudden he starts th- puking, and I'm sitting there gagging, dry heaving, and out the window, I can't look at <laughs> So what happened? Like, so you could fit all of Hank into a barf bag, but oh, you were, uh, so, it was so they had barf bags? Yeah. yeah they, they did. Had, yeah. And like, what do you do? He says, oh, I'm going to be sick. No, well, it was scary. I was going to put him in a hospital, actually, right. until he convinced me he was okay. I gave yeah. him some food, and he, he started uh, to feel better. But, so, he was shaking. Right. I was like... He had the shakes. I, I, really yeah. scary. Though. I thought he was going to die. Wow. Uh, Six and then, times. Uh, and then he asked for a ginger ale. And he, he couldn't pick up the cup and the whole cup was oh shaking. So he had goodness. to drink from a straw and his whole head started shaking. <laughs> what is that, like the DTs or something? I mean, why are you shaking? I don't, I don't know yeah. what it was. Well, I yeah. told him not to drink too much and I think he was having withdrawal. Oh, you oh, mean no. you put him into withdrawal. Are you getting loaded on me again? You got to slow down because if you're drunk on the plane, I'm putting you in the overhead baggage. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna come down. 
<laughs> don't don't make him stop drinking. Oh, he he, he vomits oh, when he doesn't when the drink. Camera's not rolling. I tell him to stop drinking. Right. When he rolls. Good. I say drink. Oh. He can't just stop drinking. Yeah, I know. He's got to keep that blood level well, up. I was thinking about myself and not dealing with <laughs> right. Being what is it, Scott? Um, I hear Doug talking to Ax sometimes in the office, and Doug's sort of become like his mom. Yeah. So he, he like tells him what to pack. Like, don't <laughs> forget your license and your oh, toothbrush and stuff. <laughs> a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm like a I'm like a father. Wow. I'm, like, I'm gonna be a good daddy because when uh with well, him, I need somebody to take like, care of me. That's why I with still the baby, live with my it's parents. like the diapers and the whole kid. His kid for me, I, ca- I come with uh, <laughs> gum. Right. Mints, uh, mouthwash, <laughs> and barf bags. <laughs> uh, that's great. You like so, uh, Hank, do you, Doug? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the whole thing started where I helped him out with his appearances is when uh, he just called me up with the whole thing with Orlando last year. Remember that whole fiasco with the Billboard Awards when yeah. he didn't show up? Right. And then I guess right around there, he, a couple of calls came in here and they came to his house about appearances and he had no idea what to do. So he told me, and I just called the guy and I found out what they wanted to do. It was like some ridiculous thing, so he didn't do it. I'm watching then, Hank. I'm watching Hank drink while Doug talked. So then the thing with People Magazine <laughs> happened and he started getting popular and the calls came in again and he didn't know what to do. So he said, "Can I help you out?" And now it's like you're his manager. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you take a percentage. I got, yeah. You do. And I got him a booking agent as well. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He, you should have seen the appearance. Unbelievable. People love him. Huh? People love Hank. It's f- pretty fascinating. Wow. Fascinating. Yeah, it's pr- it is. Mobbed. Even Hank is he was mobbed. Like, like the and like chicks and everything? Yeah, everything. Wow. Can he you get a know. date? He, he doesn't know. He's so out of it, he doesn't I know. I told him it. that he made out with a guy and he believed me. He's like, really? Doug, so you and Hank are having like a whole business relationship. Yeah, I've made him a little responsible when right. the cameras aren't rolling. When the cameras are rolling, I just. Hey, look at Doug picking up some extra scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Getting into the showbiz thing. He's an agent. Are you his manager or his agent? Yeah, yeah. Uh, manager. Manager. Yeah, it doesn't take too much time. I, I, the booking agent handles most of the stuff and right. he runs it by me. And Do you travel with him most of the time? It doesn't interfere with the e-job at all. Right. Yeah. And you no, travel? I think this is the first time he's ever... Good. This yeah. is the first time and the last time. Oh, look at this. It's a little romance. <laughs> Hustle a dwarf, Doug. Good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's, he's a cool dude. You guys like each other. He's well, that's good. It's a whole new friendship that started. Well, yeah, maybe Hank, Hank will sober up for his friend Doug. <laughs> he's, he's off disability now. <laughs> is he really? Yeah. What? No kidding. Yeah. Because uh, what he was making on disability per month, he's making more per night. Wow. Per night. Wow. How many times is he working a week? Uh, just about once a week. You know, we're going to ruin this guy. If he starts making a lot of money and cleans himself up, no, he he's not going to be any good. His life will be up. worthwhile. He can't clean himself up? No. No way. You don't it think stinks so? Yeah. Bad. It's disgusting. He stinks. I had to spray right, so you bring, wait a second. What was that? Well, I had to spray my knuckles with uh, cologne because oh. he was sitting next to me and it smelled so bad. Every time I got the, the odor, I just would go like this. <laughs> oh, you smell your own knuckles. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can't making you clean gag. him up? It's making me gag. A six-hour flight, I was stuck next to him. Couldn't you bathe him before? Uh, I tried. I covered him from head to toe I took with a shower yesterday. before I uh, left for the airport. You did? It doesn't and he help. still and it, it comes doesn't? to his pores. It's just, what is the, the, the alcohol I've smell? I've tried everything. I've tried breath mints, I've, I've mouthwash, he gargle. I, I guess his gargle. whole body smells. Yeah. I don't really care how he smells. It's just when I'm sitting so close to him, it just makes me sick. <laughs> yeah. So so what do you do? Like you, you, have, you have the perfume on your knuckles and you smell that. <laughs> perfume on your knuckles. <laughs> he has um, to perfume his knuckles. <laughs> cologne, so, cologne, not perfume. And, and I always have gum, right. canteen, or uh, some kind of cinnamon with a strong smell. Oh, I brush my teeth. Um, mm. Mouthwash whenever I get the smell. Because his I mouth really reeks, huh? Yeah. I was af- I didn't. He doesn't know that mouthwash has alcohol in it, so I was afraid he was going to start drinking that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I just like goggle with it or whatever. Right. Switch it around in my mouth. So let me understand something. He gets on the plane, and it's a 20-minute flight. And with how long before he starts puking the first time? Two minutes. Two minutes in. The plane got off the... Not even before... I think it was before it got off the And was ground. it a lot of barf? I didn't... I couldn't... I looked once, and I saw it come out. And, and did I it stink, went, the barf? It just well, smelled like him. Because it it's a small plane, right? A and was everybody like I looking was, at him? Was, oh, I was so... Did people know who he was or like, was it just a bunch of businessmen who were like... Hey, there was a guy at a, a bar in Philadelphia oh, at the, uh, the airport that knew me. He did, for okay. Being on your show. Right, right, right. So... It was horrible. Yeah. I don't know if, if people were uh, affected by it, because I was just staring out the window with dry heaving, so I don't know if anyone was even noticing it. They probably all turned So he up. pukes once, and then like the whole plane stinks from puke, and then the <laughs> stewardess, I guess, comes over and, and says- she notices. She takes the bag. She brings him another barf bag. Right. I look at him. I say, you're all right, and then he starts shaking really bad. <laughs> and then he puked again? He puked again, and then I just got sick and dry heaved, and, and then, then he, again, he hit and the again, bag and again. every time. Did anybody every else time. on the plane start puking because of-, cause of <laughs> that, I was afraid I was going 
gun, and then it would have been a whole chain reaction. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody else puked? No. But people were complaining about the smell? Uh, they must have. Um, they between his body odor and his puke, could you oh, imagine? Geez. That yeah. plane must have so been So on the flight fragrant. home today, I uh, made sure I wasn't oh. sitting near him. Really? I just needed to sleep. <laughs> So you, you sat far away yeah, from I him? I reservations. I didn't tell him this. I just said, make sure we set those seats apart. Oh, so you stuck somebody else next to him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I sleep like this. Well, actually, I slept most of the time, too. So. Who did you sit next to, uh, Hank? <laughs> no hot checks or anything? I was I was half asleep most of the time. All right, I see. We went to a heat Ashbury yesterday, and he he wasn't drinking, so we, f we walked past the liquor store. So he ran and bought a little teeny, uh, those little one-ounce things. Miniatures, yeah. yeah Miniature, so yeah. Bought a bottle of, of uh, grape juice, two bottles of the vodka, wow. and then he just stopped in the middle of the street on the sidewalk and just started pouring his drinks. Mixing. Bar. Mixing drinks right, right there. The, right well, in the hate, like, you can do like, almost anything. Yeah, right in hate Ashbury. Of of, <laughs> not out of the way of traffic, like right in the middle of the sidewalk. <laughs> He's a mixologist. He can do it anywhere. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and the funniest thing is when we would go on our way to the airport yesterday he was cleaning out his room i said okay um i left his room i said pack up your bags and meet me in the lobby in two minutes right so he had loose bottles of alcohol all over the place a little bottle of the grape juice a little sprite bottle one of these bottles right. they all had they all had a little bit of alcohol left right so instead of throwing it away he chugged them all and came down so intoxicated that he was like, <laughs> I think he's going to be in a coma. I think so, I even fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you didn't fall down the stairs. You know those revolving doors, the automatic ones? Yeah, yeah. He walked in and it just freaking <laughs> smacked him. It smacked him in the head. 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 You hear know what he just said? Yeah. I, I think I fell down the stairs. <laughs> he knew it hurt. No. He just didn't know how it happened. He didn't know what hit him. No, you got smacked by a revolving door, Hank. <laughs> he's laughing. Like at the moment, he's got to be like the Truman. You know what's kind of... He's got to shoot him 24 seconds. I know. Because but when you don't expect it... It happens. It happens. You know what's funny, though? It, it's like... What's that? You the, the picture of Doug walking around with Hank, like <laughs> sightseeing. Well, the main reason I also went is because I had two friends that were going to be in San Francisco, coincidentally. But it's funny so, that you bring Hank, you know what I mean? with me, too, yeah. Alone, it's like, uh... You can't Hank the Angry it. Dwarf. I need, I need company. With so him. when Hank goes on these gigs, does he usually travel alone? No, always a chaperone. Uh. You can't travel alone. Right. No, I get lost. Hey, Hank. Especially at an airport. So, so now that you're making money, is, yeah. are you drinking more? Like, is all the money going to alcohol? No, actually, a lot of it's going to pay off debts. Really? Yeah, it's not going to close. He's wore the same pants for the last <laughs> month. <laughs> no, not for the He doesn't care. <laughs> I know. You don't care what you wear, don't right? Don't start caring. <laughs> do you care how you look? Like, do you care about the like, clothes and stuff? Not a little bit. I wouldn't. Maybe it's embarrassing to buy pants because you got to go to a little boy store. No, I just got to get them altered. Oh, I see. Because I got, like, a, my waist is, like, bigger. Oh. Then you know, then a, a kid that's like about seven or eight or something. Mm, whatever. But <laughs> but I I just got to get him altered. All right. Well, anyway, there he is. Hank was in uh, San Francisco. <laughs> you want to, another thing? San Francisco is a great great city, but there's one part that is like the worst population of homeless. Mm -hmm. It's fright. I have never been so threatened or scared in my life. Hank must have fit right and, uh, in. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. So anyway, Frank so didn't even walk notice in, anything. Was I, I didn't know where to go. <laughs> we were we were in one hotel. That's a whole other story that maybe John wants to come in and tell about yeah. the hotels that they put us in. Right. It was ridiculous. Really bad. Like a crack house, they put us in. It was, it was Fred, John, and and Hank were the three appearing, wow. and the hotel. We check into the hotel. It's literally like a crack house. Right. So we all freak out, and we all get new hotels. And whatever. God bless radio, you know. Yeah, they're shooting at them. Whenever I work for television or I work for uh, a, movie a movie or, or something, anything. they put you in the everyone from the lowest person to the highest person to great hotels. Radio, they hey man, stay in this crack house. Yeah, we got a place for you. Oh man. So we, when we checked into another hotel, I had to take him to his hotel, which was like seven blocks away. And the bellhop at my hotel said, just walk. It's a quick walk. So I walk. He goes, oh, go down to Market Street, make a right. And we get there, and I'm like, oh, my God, there's all these homeless. And it was sort of really scary. And we keep walking. At each block, it gets worse and worse and worse. And these guys are saying, hey, little man, how's the weather down there? And he's like, what? And starts screaming at them. <laughs> oh. I'm like, Hank. You, Starting to fight, huh? So I say, don't say a word. Just shut your shut your mouth. Don't say a word. Just walk as fast as you can. Because he's going to fight and with them. So then the day after, we go down to the Fisherman's Wharf. And these people, these fans recognize him, and they say, hey, Hank, what's up? And he's like, he, he's afraid to talk to anyone. I'm like, you can talk to people, just don't talk to the homeless. <laughs> right, right, right. He doesn't know the difference. Oh. Why don't you just gag him and put him in a knapsack and carry him around with you? <laughs> Check him in the overhead bag. Hank, Hank's everybody's little buddy, right, like a pet. He's, he's carry-on luggage. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's well, amazing how popular they made him. Un yeah. really, it was Hank is, Hank's the man. I didn't realize how popular. You know what's kind of weird, though? Hank drinks so much. 
and then his liver must be so destroyed that Hank is probably not going to be alive that much longer. Oh. No, you know. no, no, no. So it, don't get too attached to him. Like you don't get attached to a dog. No, I, I think this will be one of those that. sad you TV movies. Yeah, you when think he about was it? Shaking. I was. I, thought, I really thought he was going to die. <laughs> but sweating and shaking. And, really? Oh. Look at look. He's smiling. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even like. You know, most people would be concerned that they just had the shakes on a plane. Not Hank. Not Hank. Nope. You see Not shaking gums, now. I, the gums are his worst. Let me see. Let me see your gums. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Um, pick up your upper lip. I want to see it. I'm going to throw I up. Can't, I can't. I can't do it. Why can't you pick up? Your, use your hand and pick up your upper lip. <laughs> and move your fingers. How can I see? He doesn't want to show me. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. Wait. Let me see. Wait, lift it again. I can't do it. You can do it. Oh, and you got some nasty gingivitis, dude. Ugh. Ooh, God. Ooh. I don't <laughs> like right. to go to the dentist. You ought to go to the dentist, man. I, mean, we should, I should take him to a doctor. A doctor. Mm. It's, you know what? It's hopeless. I don't know. You want to die, right, help. Hank? No. <laughs> you don't? Look at those no, two. I don't know what's going to happen after that. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he's going to lay in a box. That's the only reason not to go. He doesn't know what's going to happen. <laughs> if you knew what was going to happen, he'd go. Yeah. Well, you never know. There might be life on the other side. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and who wants that? Yeah. There's life on the other side without alcohol. That would be his punishment. Watch, on the other side, he'll be a dwarf, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might be a giant. <laughs> Wow. Bigfoot. His gums are really nasty. Oh. And he's got a weird thing, too. I looked at his pillow, and it was like blood. Blood, yeah. No, I probably, oh. had a that about? probably had a nosebleed. <laughs> Jeez, Hank. <laughs> probably. Hank, you wake you up with... out where blood's coming from, from your body? <laughs> <laughs> Hank, you wake up with blood on your pillow every morning? No. Not every morning. Not every morning. But it has happened. Oh, wow. mm. Why does your nose bleed, do you think? I don't think it's his nose. I, I don't know no, what Well, is. they say that people who drink a lot do get nosebleeds. They do. Uh, they say that. It's, well, it's common. I don't know who's today. It's probably doctors. Oh, and I drink a lot, and I never heard of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you're a piker compared to Hank. I, he might be coming out of his mouth. He could be know. coming from his you know I think he has a cut on his head. Oh, God. Really? I'm not going to touch it. I, I, right. I, I, did you, you let him run somewhere? Through that. Did you let him shower and stuff at your house? Uh, did you yeah. shower at my house? You did? Yeah. In the sink. Oh. I went to the bank. I didn't want to be a part of it. All right. Oh, well, hey, you're his manager. <laughs> <Friday. laughs> That's the right to the shower. What is a stuttering and job? Doug's not always with him because I think Doug, you know, left Hank for a little while. So at 11 o'clock at night, I get a call and it's Hank on the phone going, Hey, where's the bar? Show me the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, oh, I'm just wondering where the blood's coming out of Hank. We actually oh. stood in different hotels. Yeah. We right. stood, stood in different stood. hotels. Dude, we stayed in different hotels. I Dude, I got to uh, do the news, so I got to get you guys out of here. It's always a pleasure okay. to talk to you, Hank. Yeah. Good seeing you, oh, Hank. It's always a pleasure to talk to you people, too. You <laughs> people. <laughs> where are you going now? Back to Boston or yeah. wherever you live? No, I put him on a bus alone. Uh-oh. Are you nervous when you put him on alone? Because he's your meal ticket. <laughs> 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 you get you, 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 you kind of treat him like a son. I, I treat him well. I yeah, treat him well. he does. I buy him food all the time. Oh. Yeah. I feel bad. I'm not going to buy him clothes because I don't want to change who he is. Right. Have you Definitely met not. his family? I buy him liquor. No. Talk to his mom a lot, though. Doug's Colonel Tom Parker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Elvis. Yeah. Well, congratulations. And what do you, do you have a bank account where you put the money you're making? Uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do have a bank account. Johnny Walker. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny Walker. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Hank, the angry dwarf, the angry drunken dwarf. And uh, thank you, Doug, for enlightening uh, us. My pleasure. Fascinating Til weekend. Time. So, yep, until the next time. All right. Look at Doug, man. That's, he is Colonel Tom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really amazed at this alliance. I can't believe Doug and Tom. I mean, Hank, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> no, I'm getting messages from Tom, so Tom's on my mind. Oh. It's been a half hour. It's been a half Could you guys stop with the messages? It distracts me. The whole time on the computer. Yeah. Some doctor's on the phone. He says he knows what's wrong with Hank. Okay. <laughs> Every Where is he bleeding from? Hi, Doc. Hello? Yeah, doctor. Yeah. Wait, what is wrong with Hank? Well, it sounds like Hank has got very severe alcoholism. It sounds like he was going into the DTs, and that's like one out of two people who do that die. Yeah, because Doug said he looked like he was going to die. Yeah, I mean, he looks, uh, uh, he sounds like he's got serious liver damage. It sounds like he could just pass out and die. Yeah, he will. Oh, yeah. Oh, he has serious liver damage, oh, right? going to make me I don't cry. know. Oh. I know it's enlarged. Yeah. Of course he's going to die. I mean, what do you think well, he's going to live? But I don't want to talk about it. When's the last well, time you got checked out by a doctor? Oh, I can't doctor. remember. All right. 
I mean, what's he going to a doctor for? The doctor's going to say stop drinking. He can't. Oh, I, I see a shrink. I see an eye doctor. Uh, <laughs> you do see an eye doctor? I can't read the bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble reading the bottles. <laughs> you know what I found out about Hank? Yeah. What? I know you got to take a break. But uh, he, a former job he used to have was a phone solicitor for a medical company or something like that. Or no, they hardware did. company. No, they only uh, hired handicapped people. But can you imagine him phone soliciting? <laughs> he all I drunk. Would, I wouldn't do that now. <laughs> hey, Hank, what, do you, what would you do now? Too star. What I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> appearing and drinking. <laughs> yeah, maybe oh, get I hate to think that Hank's going to die. Hey, Robin, Hank oh, went to everybody's a Everybody's going to die. Hank yeah, went, but you're going to die soon. Hank went to a shrink, and he shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God. I used to be taller than you. <laughs> yeah, it's the shrink. <laughs> so, uh, Hank, do me a favor. Go in the other room and cut a, a goodbye message. Like, hi, this is Hank, and oh. I'm dead now. Now, I mean, you know, something like that. I just want to tell you guys, I really enjoyed being alive, and it was, you know what I mean, and what, what the you show meant to you. Last day you fun. Fun. Yeah, and we'll play it when you die. And you can thank people. I want to thank Doug for helping me out and well, all maybe that. Maybe you want to tell people not to do what you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like tell them not to drink. So I'm not the, I'd be a hypocrite if I said that. Right, yeah. yeah you don't right. want to be a dead hypocrite. <laughs> yeah. And then say stuff like, you know, hey, this is Hank, and I'm dead, and there's no afterlife, guys. Worms are eating me right now. And <laughs> I'm, I'm lying in a, a box somewhere, rotting. With my enlarged liver. Oh. <laughs> how large could his liver be? Look how tiny he is. Can't be that big. But it stinks. Yeah, huh? He smells. Oh. Terrible. Wow. Terrible. Well, look, I didn't have a chance to take a shower. It doesn't matter. It doesn't help. <laughs> Hank, even when you shower, you smell. Does that bother you? No. No. <laughs> what does he care? I sprayed him from head to toe with cologne. <laughs> oh, so, bad so bad. So well, bad. Still doesn't help. Doesn't help. Still doesn't help. Well, that bag's kind of heavy. It makes me work. It's like a workout. All right. Hey, listen. Thanks, Hank. All right. All right. Go drink. And uh, Doug, good luck, man. I had no idea all this was going on. So if Hank dies, are we going to the funeral? Uh, no. Yeah, right. yeah your own's right. Not if, it's up, not if it's up in, where is it? Worcester or something? Fall River. Oh, Falls River. Fall River. Yeah, well, I'm not going all the way up there. I want to. I want to get cremated anyways. No, yeah, we'll keep them in here. It'll be easy to light you. That's oh, for man. sure. <laughs> <laughs> smoke my ashes. Yeah. <laughs> Mix it with a, a joint. Yeah. <laughs> we'll barbecue joke. We'll cremate you, man. We'll put them right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we'll put you up on the shelf. <laughs> we'll keep your urn Give on the shelf. Give us your remains. He could yeah. fit in an urn without being cremated. <laughs> yeah, we can just stick you him in an urn. Head he's stick he's right, probably going to be totally preserved. We don't even have to do it. I bet you Hank doesn't live more than another year and a half. Uh, wow. They could live a long time. You never can predict that. Really? They cremate him. He's going to burn for six weeks. Or <laughs> That's why I'm saying we shouldn't even do anything because all the alcohol in him, he's already pickled. Doug, your big mistake was trying to keep him from drinking. That's why he went into the DTs. That's right. You heard him, though. Yeah. yeah. You could have killed him. I'm sorry, Hank. You could have killed the little pack. I accept oh. your apology. All right. Hey, Hank, I hope you live a long time, pal. I really do. Well, I'll probably outlive you. Right. Sure. Well, you if probably will. by a bus. All right. <laughs> All right, Hank, thanks for coming in. Doug, thank you. My pleasure. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right, so what do you want me to do? You want me to go into what, 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 that room that I was in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still on the air, though. No, I know, but he's <laughs> talking about the, the message. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, the you go cut the message. Jackie will help you with it. <laughs> Jackie will go with you, too. Let's go have a beer. Yeah. Jackie, right. help him out, all right? I certainly will. Yeah. I'll go with you, Jackie, for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go into, hey, do you want to go into rehab at all? Do you have any desire? I've been to detoxes so many times. Uh, hey, Don. I was going call audit to go once. You Yo, go. listen, we need to help this guy. How? I know it's a goof because the guy's a dwarf and he's not, you know, he wants to die and it would be fun. I don't want to die. Devil. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Okay, fine, you don't. Howard, listen, uh, I can help the guy. I've got a lot of friends. If I, I'll give you my number off the air, and we'll help the guy. Yeah, but, you know, he's been in tons of uh, rehabs already. Uh, I know, but you can't give up on that stuff. You know, you'll have but the But how do you get him to show. go in? Yeah, he doesn't want to go. Uh... He's too big a star. Howard, I know, I've listened to you for a long time. If Hank shows up at rehab, he's too famous now. He's uh, no, we'll take him to a place that he doesn't know. I'll give he you my to number be... off the air. I, I don't want, want to go. <laughs> what? What's that? I don't want to go. You want to die? <laughs> I'd, I'd rather die. You want to die? Instead I didn't say I want to die, but I'd rather die. Instead of maybe helping some other, you know, people your size who may be having problems. Yeah, Why, be... Are, you, are you a dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, no. Thank God, no. What do you no, think, all dwarfs are alcoholics? I know dwarfs who don't I'm, even drink. I'm kidding around with you, man. Listen, I'm going to give you my number off the air. 
All right. Well, Howard, I'll I don't give want you my it. number. All I right. want to. I want to help the guy. All right. Thanks. Okay. I don't want your help. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised to hear that from. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I see mean, what are you going to do? Kidnap him? He I can't. mean, he's not going to go. What is it, Joe? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you what. This show is asinine. I think it's ridiculous that you can make this much money, be this popular, and just talk about a bunch of crap. There's people out here with real jobs that could use that kind of money. Oh, shut up. <laughs> huh? How about it? Speak up. You're Thank mad you. You're mad at Hank because he makes money? It's, I'm mad at you because you make oh, money. Oh, you're mad at me for making money? You make millions off right. th- just getting your kicks off people. It's ridiculous. It's right. stupid. You don't well, what, what, else, what else is there, sir? You don't even have a real job. No, I don't. This is this is not a real job to you? How ridiculous is it? If I don't have ratings, I don't have a job at all. How right. stupid you are. Think about it. Idiots like you listen, so I make money. Oh, I don't listen. I'm just calling. Oh, please. Yeah, all right. What do you do? I'm a banker. Oh, that's Shit's a real off. job. <laughs> hey. How about it? Oh, what, do you, what do you do? You sit around and just take other people's money and put it somewhere. How about it, though? Yeah, what's, what's real about that? Wait, you, you get on the radio, you make millions. Think oh, about kind of get out of here, you How nut. You're just jealous. I'm not jealous. You're you, stupid. I'm not listens. jealous. Yeah, you're not jealous. Stupid either. Yeah. And if somebody would listen to you, you could make some money, too. How about it, though? What, you know, it's so what, easy. Why don't you do what I do? What do you do that's so great? What makes you I don't say I do great anything. People listen to me. Well, what, what, what's, what's this? You stinking... What's this phenom with millions of dollars? Oh, get out of here. Millions of dollars. I guess you shouldn't take the money if people offer it to yeah. you. Yeah, what a jack-off. Hey, anyway, we got to take a little short break. we got to do news, all right? Hey, you guys go. You guys go do your thing. Right. Me and Robin are going to do the news. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Doug. You're welcome. All right, man. Don't worry, man. We won't lock you up into rehab. Oh, I know. See you later, Howard. Take it easy, Hank. <laughs> there he goes. I love how he always says goodbye. He just missed the step. You all right, Hank? <laughs> hey, careful. Doug, help him out. Oh, my goodness. He won't even get out of his oh studio alive. <laughs> <laughs> Doug just left him. <laughs> yeah. Do you believe Doug is Doug managing is Hank? Dad. <laughs> yeah. Let's go cut that farewell message. Is that Did you get him out of there? Yeah. All right. This way, this way. Yep. We're really doing this, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I'll just throw him a line and repeat it. Cut it. Uh, Henry, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. You're going to film it or you want me to do it on yeah, tape? Yeah, come on. We're, we're going down to do it on tape. Hey, this is Hank. I'm dead. I hope you guys cremate me and put me in a vodka bottle. Hey, this is Hank. I'm in a coffin that's so big that I can dance the disco in it. Uh, well, why don't we just do an ID? Hi, this is Frank. Uh, the Frank. This is Hank, the ugly. Frank. The, the, the angry. angry. Hi, this is Hank, the angry, drunken, dead dwarf, and I wish I was still alive so I could tell you all to go fuck yourselves. Oh, that's a good one. Hank, you're really angry from the start, though. Hi, this is Hank, the angry, drunken dwarf, and I'm dead now. So, I wish I was still alive so I could tell you all to go fuck yourselves, you bunch of fucking assholes. I think we got something. <laughs> <laughs>